Hi, I'm Kathy Tutt with the Healthy Aging Network. Today, we're talking about health literacy and misinformation. So Jenny Lobb is joining us today, and she's going to share with us some of the disinformation tactics that might be used um, as people share health information related to COVID-19. So Jenny, could you start out with the first type of tactic that people use? Yeah, so disinformation is a type of misinformation that is intended to mislead someone. Um, and oftentimes, people who are creating disinformation will use our mental cues that we rely upon to quickly process information. Um, and they use those mental cues to deceive us. So they might take a logo of an established organization, for example, a health department or the CDC, and they might take that logo and put it on their content, whether it be a website or an article or a video um, to make us think that the information is endorsed by that credible organization. They may also use visual cues like someone wearing a white doctor's coat um, or maybe with a stethoscope around their neck to make us think that um, it's endorsed by a health professional. They might create a really nice professional looking website um, because if our brain sees something that looks really nice and professional, we may be more likely to trust it um, than something that looks less professional. Um, or they may simply, you know, tell a story and include references to, you know, um, a friend or a family member who works for an organization like a government agency or the hospital and say, so-and-so works for this organization and they just told me. Um, and that story could be totally made up, but just including that reference um, kind of tricks our brain into wanting to believe it or learn more. Um, and then finally, they may use um, unique or rare terms in their title um, if they're creating an article um, or a video so that when someone searches for content um, to fact check or um, for content connected to that article, um, that article is the first thing that comes up. So if you're wanting to fact check something that you might think is disinformation, you could use some broader search terms, um, consider some synonyms um, so that you're not getting such um, a narrow scope of information.